Good morning from the International Space Station. Today is a formal event. This is the formal transfer of authority and responsibility of the International Space Station onboard operations from myself, Tim Copra, to Jeff Williams. This is also an opportunity for us to give our thanks to an incredible international team that has allowed us to do our job up here and to advance the exploration of humans in space. We've been uh, so privileged to work here on board with a, a huge variety of science experiments that uh, we know are going to be a stepping stone for human exploration. And we've demonstrated both from the ground and from the crew on board, together we've demonstrated that we have a world-class international laboratory. We've also demonstrated that we can sustain this, this station. We've docked, we actually captured and, uh, and docked and then released a Cygnus vehicle, a Dragon vehicle. We currently have two Progress vehicles docked to our space station. Through the help of the ground teams and this great crew, we've been able to maintain the station in top working order so that we can continue our experiments on board and uh, our efforts to advance the state of technology. We've had technology demonstrations where we've launched satellites. We have an inflatable module, the first of its kind here, docked to space station. And so it's been a privilege for all of us to be able to participate in all of these different activities on board space station. Personally, I'd like to say that it's been a tremendous honor to serve with this crew, with Jeff, Tim, Yuri, Alexi, and Oleg. I can't think of a better group of people to spend time with in space and to work with. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity. I'd also like to thank the families. The families that are back home have to, uh, to endure the fact that uh, we're not there to help. And uh, through their tremendous support, it keeps us in a good state of mind so that we can do our job and what we consider to be a very important job here on Space Station. Bill Shepard, who was the first commander of, of the International Space Station, brought a bell with him. And this is a, a Navy tradition that signifies uh, the, uh, the changing of the watch. And this is a tradition that's been uh, part of the Navy and, and uh, with ships at sea as long as, uh, as there have been ships at sea. And uh, we would like to continue this tradition, ironically, I think, because both uh, Jeff and I are former Army officers, and we'd like to continue this tradition of ringing the bell to demonstrate the changing of the watch, and in this case, the, uh, the change of command from myself to Jeff Williams. And with that... Jeff, congratulations. You're now the commander of the International Space Station. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, I'd like to say that uh, I, I know, Jeff, that the station is in great hands, and uh, I'm proud to be able to pass off this command to you today. Thank you very much, Tim. Uh, great words. Uh, I would only echo everything you said in terms of uh, thanks uh, to the ground teams around the world, as well as the family and our friends uh, that support us so well up here. Mm. I'd uh, also like to say a special congratulations to, uh, to Yuri, to Tim, and to Tim for a successful stay on the International Space Station. Uh, you've made uh, the, uh, our stay so far, Alexei Olik and I, um, our stay um, extremely uh, productive and rewarding. Um, and I've always said that the, the number one personal objective that all of us should have is to complete a uh, stay on, this, on board the International Space Station and look back and say that's one of the greatest rewards, uh, greatest experiences I've ever had and it ought to be a big reward and you've made it that way so thank you for that and uh, we wish you a uh, safe return to Earth mm -hmm. and a safe return to your families. Um, of course the Russian saying is Miyaki Posadka, <laughs> uh, soft landings. Mm -hmm. But uh, those of us that have done it know there's really nothing soft about it, um, <laughs> but, uh, but you're ready to do it. You, by the way, are with uh, a very experienced Soyuz commander. And um, actually, uh, I got some numbers here, uh, which I want to acknowledge, if I can find them here. Yuri here has completed 828 days, is that correct? Mm -hmm. In space uh, today, 
right? Uh, which is a second all-time record in the world, over five flights, a flight on Mir, a space shuttle flight, and then uh, three flights here on, on board the International Space Station, long duration flights. So congratulate, uh, I congratulate you uh, for that milestone. Uh, Tim, uh, peak, uh, completed 186 days, and you all, are 186 days on this uh, flight, of course. And I want to congratulate you, Tim. You have represented uh, the European Space Agency very well, and of course the United Kingdom very well. Uh, and it's been a pleasure to, to uh, get to know you. Obviously, we knew each other, some from training on the ground, but we really didn't get to know each other until we had the, the time to spend up here. So I congratulate you on that as well. And Tim Copra, of course, 277 or 244 days you've completed now over two long duration flights on board the International Space Station. And I want to congratulate you as well. The three of you have left uh, the ship in good hands to Alexei and Oleg and I, and we uh, intend on carrying on the good tradition um, of uh, service and, and, um, and, and, and duty uh, on board the International Space Station. So thank you very much. I do have one other um, uh, item of business to do um, before I uh, uh, before I hand it back or we close this or whatnot, and th this is uh, I am honored. And oh, by the way, I've learned from experience that I need to start out with a piece of gray tape. I'm honored to have the uh, opportunity to uh, give an award, a special award, uh, to an individual here, and uh, this award is to Tim Copra, and it's the Order of St. Michael Gold Award, which I will need to explain. If you could hold that mic for me, Tim. Um, let me present this award, and then I'll explain a little bit about it for those that don't, don't know about it. Tim and I, as Tim mentioned, that's what the great tape's for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it's a pretty heavy metal award and it will uh, knock your teeth out if you don't use the gray tape. And now I lost my glasses, which I, is not the first time. So I'll see if I can, uh, I'll, I'll go without them. The Order of St. Michael is a very special award for U.S. Army aviators. And uh, it's sponsored by the Army Aviation Association of America. It recognizes individuals who've contributed significantly to the promotion of Army aviation through a lifetime of service to the aviation branch. These individuals have demonstrated the highest standards of integrity and moral character, display an outstanding degree of professional competence, and serve the United States Army aviation community with distinction. And Tim, you've done that for many decades now not only active duty in the Army in combat and in other uh, uh, duty locations in the Army, but then after retiring from the Army, uh, continuing your service uh, representing the Army and Army Aviation um, at NASA, and now culminating with a, a very successful command on the International Space Station. So, the award itself, there's more words here, but I'm not gonna read them all, but mm -hmm. the award itself says, uh, the Honorable Order of St. Michael, appearing before a most arduous and discriminatory committee of tried and proven Army aviators and aviation patriots, be it known that Timothy L. Copra was tested and found worthy of special recognition for outstanding contributions to the community of Army aviation and is hereby inducted into the Honorable Order of St. Michael Gold Award. The Archangel St. Michael is the embodiment of courage, justice, and gallantry. So too, the aforementioned individual embodies these qualities and represents excellence in aviation. Therefore, the President of the Army Aviation Association of America acknowledges that this patriot is due special honor and respect for now and posterity. Uh, signed on this date by General Sinclair. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jeff. And uh, Houston, I think that uh, concludes uh, what we had planned up here. We hand it over to you.
We copy, Jeff, and uh, Jeff and Tim, good job. Uh, congratulations for that, uh, the command handover, Jeff, and we look forward to continuing on with you on uh, Expedition 48. And Tim, we look forward to seeing you back here uh, very shortly. Good job.